buses. Welcome back to another 15 minute workout. Today's workout, we're going to target your upper arm fat. Upper arm fat. This part of your arm. So if you've got some cheese there, some, some mushy stuff, you want to tone it up. This is one of the workouts that you can add to your regime that will help fix that problem. Now the rules are still the same. It's 30 seconds in between each set. 15 minutes only to work out. We're going to go intense. Only difference is this is a split routine, similar to what you might have done on Operation S Curve if you're part of that program. The other, oh, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on using resistance bands, not dumbbells. We're going to use resistance bands. We're going to use the heaviest resistance. And as you can see, we're also outside, but outside different location, which ultimately means that you can do this workout anywhere. You can do it anywhere. So if you want to save some time, if you're on vacation, you want a business trip, this is one of the workouts that you can just do anywhere in your hotel. Pull out one of your phone, pull out your phone, your iPhone, pull out your iPad, stream it on your internet connection. In fact, you need an internet connection to watch these videos and follow along. You can just do these anywhere to keep yourself in shape. So let's go. The first exercise that we're gonna do, you're gonna focus on triceps. Focus on triceps. Now, this is an exercise that if you have if you've been in a gym, you may be very familiar with, but instead we're gonna use the heaviest resistance band to do this. Uh, all you're gonna do is, if you have if you don't have resistance bands, just get a pair. They're very they're very um, inexpensive to to to, to, um, to purchase at any at an online store or a local store. Now this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna place the resistance band horizontally on the floor. Open your legs a little bit and you're gonna stand on it. Make sure you can pull it. And now you're going to pull your arm through your legs, grab it with your other arm, and make sure you can see the business band. You can move it up and down like so. And now what you do is you pull your resistance band all the way up to the back. Now uh, you may be familiar, very familiar with this. It's very similar to when you use a, a dumbbell to work your triceps. So once you've got your arm in position, like so, you can see it, straight down your back, we are going to perform six sets, three sets on each arm. So if you're ready, and you've got your resistance band in place, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No rest. Immediately switch to your other arm. Hand behind your back. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No rest. Keep going. Set number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No rest, you should feel it by now. Switch. Arm on your back. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No rest, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. 
Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you take a 30 second break. That you should feel it in your, in your triceps. Remember with your triceps, it's not about going too heavy. It's more about the range of motion and focusing on the eccentric. You know, doing the, doing the movement in a relatively slow manner. So now that we've done our triceps, we're now in our 30 second break. We're now gonna focus on our biceps. We're gonna give our triceps a little break. You'll see why in just a moment. So, I prepared one before, earlier. So now we're just gonna do normal bicep curls, but we're gonna focus on the eccentric. We're gonna focus on the eccentric. Focus on the eccentric just simply means focusing and slowing down the movement in the lower half of the movement. movement. So let's go. So, uh, if you get a pair of resistance bands, you'll get a, you'll get a lot of, you'll get, you'll get a pair of these so nothing to worry about there. So now all we do is place it horizontally like we did before and you come up, shoulders back, elbows locked to your sides and we're going to do three sets of ten again. So here we go. One. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a little break. In fact, if you're not tired at this point, cut the brakes all together. If you think you can keep going on, cut them. We're only using body weight here. Yes, we're using resistance bands, but cut the brakes. But only do that if you manage to finish this workout after the last exercise. We'll see why. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tired yet? Wait for the last exercise. Let's forget the breaks. Let's go. Last one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Biceps done. Uh, we're gonna take a 30 second break because this last exercise may challenge you. This last exercise. It's known as the tricep push-up. Tricep push-up. Now, let me show you what a tricep push-up is. Just so uh, you know. Now, a lot of you will know that with normal push-ups, you have a wide stance, and your, and your hands are pre 
pretty much just below your face, right? So you come down like so, like so. And that targets your chest, right? That targets your chest. But now, we are gonna start targeting your triceps. This part of your arm, so you can get rid of that cheese, that stuff that's there, that's, that's annoying you. You don't wanna go out in summer and show, show your cheese to everyone. That's cellulite on your arms, ugh. So what we wanna do is, make a tweak. So instead of having a wide grip, what you do is we bring our hands right in front of our face. Right in front of our face. And we keep our hands about four to six inches apart. And then what we do is we bring our elbows on top of our torso and closer to the body. And then, what we do is, we come down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, if you did that properly just now, you would have definitely felt it in this part of your arm. You wouldn't have felt it at all in your chest. You should have definitely felt all the pressure in this part of your arm. Triceps. That's essentially what we're trying to target, and that's what that exercise will do. Now, Sticking to the same rules of variation in these workouts, we are now going to increase range of motion. Remember, when you increase range of motion, it automatically allows you to target your muscle fibers in a better way. In a much better way. It's just like when you do a squat and you come down lower. The lower you go, the better it is in recruiting more muscle and obviously as you know more muscle the leaner you are you know the better it is that you can keep the fat away so when you do eventually start to build muscle around this area and the cheese starts to disappear you'll be lean strong sexy and it'll go away anyway second set increase the range of motion now if you've got a mat in your gym got a man in your gym I'm using dumbbell I'm using small little dumbbell weight plates here but if you've got a mat in your gym that's maybe an inch or two off the floor doing so will allow you to go lower it will allow you to go lower in the movement and it has a little bit extra range of motion which helps recruit muscle fibers in a better way so let's go same rules, arms, arms locked, keep your hands in front of your face, and you come down, two, three, four, five, six, two small tweaks make a huge difference in shifting the load to your triceps instead of your chest. It's only your body weight, but hey, it's all about shifting the load. Something that I talked about back in No Nonsense Butt Building. If you've read that, that program, you'll be very familiar with the term shifting the load, which is what I talked about a lot last year. And that's one way to do it. That's one way to do it. Now, uh, we've only got one more set left. Again, very short, intense split routine. Body in breaks. But I definitely would advise you to, to take 30 second breaks on this exercise. 
because it can be pretty tough, um, especially if it's, if it's your first time doing this exercise. So uh, now, instead of going low on the arms and the elbows going low into the floor by raising the front, we're now going to raise our feet and also go lower. Now you can keep your arms elevated, but for this example, in this workout, we're not going to keep our arms elevated. We're just going to keep our feet elevated and we're going to go low. So it's the last one, same rules. Here we go. All right. Butt up. Arms right in front of your face. Elbows locked close. Here we go. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Get all the way down. Four. Five. Feel the cheese melting away already? It's disappearing. I'm sure you can feel it going away. Just kidding. In fact, on that point, make sure you take days off, take weeks off, and relax. That's when the real growth happens. So many people still, after all of these years of training and having training materials in front of us, in our heads or in some people's heads. It's just a magical thing for people to think the results happen in the moment that you're lifting in the gym. Yes, it's temporary pump, but it goes away. So what you have to do is make sure you take breaks, follow FitBuzz Nutrition, follow everything else FitBuzz, but take breaks, rest, because you will come back a different person. You'll wake up every single day and your body will transform it will transform as long as you follow everything else it will transform so that's the workout done finished the only thing i'll say is this is just one example workout of many workouts from the aphrodite workout from operation s curve this is what this is what a lot of these workouts are coming from they're coming from those programs and i'm adding a lot of the variations that you may have learned in those programs now there's many exercises that you will know of, some of the base, base exercises that you know of. There are many ways to vary the exercises. Some exercises up to 20 variations for this one exercise, especially when you start to add cables, resistance bands, all these tools. There's many ways to start adding variations to different workouts, up to different exercises. Now the main reason we add different variations is because it's the direction of the force that you apply will determine how well you recruit certain muscle fibers. That's the only reason why you add all these variations. And this is just one example workout. So I'm gonna leave it as that. Your arms should be quite tight right now. If you want, you could just do a morning workout with this workout. And if you're already in advanced mode, you can do an evening workout to follow it up. That's what you can do. But I'll explain more of that in another video. But that's it for this workout. Kill the upper arm fat. I'll see all of you in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.